Hello and welcome to another TRC Shave and Chat. I am Brandon Shaves and today we will be showcasing Sterling, well, Lime by Sterling Soap Company. This is the label, basic, the uh, green tub that everyone knows from Sterling. Really fresh lime scent. Um, if you take a lime and rub your hands on it without it being cut and then sniff, that's essentially what you're getting here. Really, really nice scent. So, um, actually, I'll, I'll go over what we're going to use first. Um, so, that's the soap, and I have the matching splash with menthol, not the glacial version, but the regular menthol, which doesn't freeze your face off, though it is still quite cold. Uh, balm today will be the unscented balm from Zingari Man. Uh, by the way, these products you can find on the Razor Company. The weapon for the day will be my Mercur 34C with a Voshkod blade in it. Um, and I'm going to show you that even with multiple days growth, I think this is five days growth, um, you know, this being known as a mild razor, um, I can still take this off with no problem. So you don't have to have a super efficient or aggressive, um, as they say, razor to take this much hair off. Um, it's all about beard reduction and multiple passes, and that will get all of this smooth as a baby's hiney. My brush today is also sterling. This is a really great value. It's like 30, 30, 35, 40 bucks. Um, and this is the finest badger from Sterling Soap Company. Really nice brush, very dense, um, really soft tips. A very nice brush. So let's get going. I have soaking water on the top of the puck, just making the making this easier to load. Um, and I'll get some of this water on my face. I'm just rub it in, just getting a little, little layer of slickness. As a uh, pre-shave, if you will. And if you want, I'll do it anyway. Hope everyone's having a very nice weekend out there. It's a little, little rainy here. Um, just a nice lazy day, and I don't mind it. I've had some, I've had a, a pretty crazy past week. So if I can get a little time to relax, then I'm all for it. So just getting in here doesn't take too much to to get this loaded up. It's a fairly hard puck. And I think that's plenty. I'm just looking for it to be pasty. And that looks plenty pasty to me. So now I just get some of these residual suds onto me face. I have lots of different accents and none of them are good. So stay around. All right, it'll give me a nice base layer to work with. And I'm gonna get a little alum. And just take an alum block and put it on my fingers. This soap is super slick. Um, so I need a little grip. So just rub my fingers on it and give you a nice grip. All right, paste, face, introduce them. forgot to say that I would be face lathering today, but uh, I think you figured that out by now. And all I'm trying to do is just get a nice, fairly even layer of this paste on my face, and then I'm going to add some water to it. The key for me is lots of water. The more water you get into this soap, the slicker it gets. And it's a very slick soap. So just start painting some water in. 
Every time you see the, blur the brush disappear, I'm just dipping the tips of the brush into water. Really great, fresh scent. I mean, you can use it year round, but you know, it's really nice, especially when it starts to warm up. And yes, even here in Maine, it's starting to warm up now too. And another addition of water. Sorry, I'm leaving the picture. You can see I'm really getting through that pace. What I'm looking for is I'm looking to see some of my skin tone. As long as I can see that, I know I've worked through that, that layer of paste that I put on. And you can see here, you're starting to see my skin color. Which I call that tone main white. All right, and I think we're good here. Oh, no, let's just put a little more in it. You don't have to put this much water into it. I like a super slick, super slick shave. Say that 47 times fast. I can't even say it once. All right. We're well hydrated now. My shirt is well hydrated. That's okay though. It means I'll smell like lime all day. All right. Let's get going. Warm up the blade in the water a little bit. And let's get going. Straighten up my sideburns. All right. So just go to the face, add a little angle, and let's get rolling. You hear that blade going through the hair? Really, really slick soap. Residual slickness is great. I can definitely shave over that. I'm gonna go back to the sideburn again. There's plenty of slickness there, so. Just wanna get the angle that I like up there. There we go, nice clean line there. All right, let's keep going. Really great scent on this. If you're a fan of lime, I think you'll be pleasantly pleased with this. I mean, they call this a mild razor, but it will take off hair, no problem. As you can see, this is five days growth and having no trouble getting that off.
Sterling are well, well known for having really slick soaps. Um, great value also. I think it's, I don't know, $14, $15 a tub for um, almost six ounces of product, which is huge. I mean, most of the rest of them are like four ounces. Um, so, number one, you're getting more product. Like we can ever go through a tub of soap. I've been wet shaving for years and I think I've only gone through two tubs of soap. But still fantastic value, especially if you're someone who gets one soap that you love and you know just rolls with it on a daily basis. Um, you could save a ton of money. You could be the only person ever to save money in wet shaving. That is not me. I do not save money wet shaving. I could, but I don't. Because there's so much new stuff to try. So many new formulas coming out. And I love it. You know, wet shaving doesn't have to be a hobby for you like it is for me, you can just get great products and, you know, a superior shave. Um, it is a hobby for me, I love it. Really nice first pass, but we're gonna keep going. I definitely have not saved money wet shaving. Doesn't help having a YouTube channel either. I mean, people don't want to see, you know, your same products every day. So you have to give people new stuff. Look at that. Super slick. Really well hydrated lather. There really is so much residual slickness there that I really don't have to apply any more product. but I want to continue to smell it, so I'm going to. Look at that. Really nice. I believe they offer this lime and a, and a glacial version too. I'm not positive on that. Some would call this across the green. Um, my facial hair grows. Um, in many different ways. So it's not necessarily across the grain for me, but I call it the across the grain pass anyway. Got this little spot right here that's hard to get, so I have to stick my tongue in from behind and try to just flatten that spot out. Get up there in the nose. Don't want any nose hair sticking out. 
really there's nothing worse than getting a wonderful shave and cleaning off and then going, oh, come on. You have like, you know, two little bitty hairs in there in the corners. So I make sure that doesn't happen to me. All right, now we'll be going across the grain the other way. See, there's plenty of slickness here. I'll just, hey, why not? I mean, it's taking those hairs off and it's still just as slick as it could be. The only downfall is you don't get to smell the scent as much. And uh, you don't have a you don't have a lather trail where you can figure out where you've shaved. I'm very methodical in my shaving. I do it the same every time, so I don't necessarily need that lather trail. If you've got a soap that is lacking in slickness, um, this would be really irritating. All right, now we'll go against the grain. There's still a ton of slickness here. I could go against the grain without lather, but I want more lather. One of the most beautiful things about wet shaving to me are the great scents out there. And, um, you know, I like to enjoy what I'm doing here. You know, if you can take a menial task and make it fun. All right, side note here. Um, I definitely did taste that lather and we'll give it a little bitter Definitely a little limey. Um, my tasteometer, I'm gonna give that about a about a 3.75 out of 10. I recommend you don't taste your soaps, but if you do, I mean you can at least you can at least give them a value. Tongue is really clean now though. Hey, if you like bad jokes, I'll be here for another probably five minutes. Oh yeah, super, super close. It's 
It's a great buffing razor. Buffing razor is this motion here. It's no pressure, but just And if you don't have a really slick soap, I would definitely suggest you don't do that. Look at that. I mean, that's just as smooth as it can be. And here's where you really want to get those nose hairs that are, you know, get up in the in the crevice there, the crevasse. There we go. Smooth like baby booty. That's my bad Russian. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna get him one more little quick partial pass. Just on my neck. On my neck, the hair grows this way. So to get against the grain, I need to go obviously the opposite of that. So I'm just going to wring out some suds there. The soap is really good for your skin, so why not put it everywhere? Got a storm rolling through. I can see my light up there kind of dimming. Hopefully I don't lose you. All right, now just feel and see if there's anything. Just kind of hit it a little different angle. Always no pressure. Boy, that's awesome. All right, let's get cleaned up here. Just cold water rinse. And I'll hit it with some alum. Just kind of seal the pores off. Absolutely no feedback there. Just kind of clean my brush out real quick while the alum is doing its thing. Shave is so nice today, I don't think the alum really has much to do. There were no nicks or anything in there, so it doesn't need to seal those up. All right, so I just rinse the brush out and then give it a few flicks. change angle just give it a little spin and then I'll hang this upside down for at least 24 hours or until it's until it's fully dry and then I'll hang it up and alum off the face I got a little alum on my tongue. Tastometer always gives alum a negative one. If you've ever had it on your tongue, you know why. There's a, 
no better way to dry up saliva than alum. All right, with menthol, limey lime. And even just the regular with menthol is a lot of menthol. Nice menthol freeze, little alcohol burn. Mm. Fantastic lime scent. It's so strong in the aftershave. Really, really great stuff. And then we'll finish up with a little balm. Good. Couple squirts. Now I kind of just emulsify it in the hands. Get it on the face. It soaks in really quickly, so, you know, try and make quick work of it. Mm. And then I almost always finish with a scent of the day. And today I'm going still Lime Ford Atelier Cologne um, Cedrat Innovrant. And this will be a great way to keep that fresh lime scent going. Woo. Really, really great scent by Atelier Cologne. All right. So thank you guys for joining. Today was Sterling Lime. We started with the soap, finished with the aftershave and the Zingari Balm. Unscented because I can use it anytime, no matter what scent I'm working with. Razor today was the Mercury 34C with a Voshkod blade in it. Really smooth shave, um, really nice blade and um, razor combination. So thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great week. Do something great for someone. Have a good one. I'll see you on the next one.